Hi, Chad. He's at Double Fine, doublefine.com. And, of course, people love Double Fine, uh, of course, because of Psychonauts, which is Double Fine's course, yeah. big hit, uh, for, which is now 10 years old, mm -hmm. more than 10 years old. Yeah, just over 10. And then you worked on Brutal Legend. Which That's right. I, I came in 2006, started on that one. That's uh, with Eddie Riggs and had Jack Black doing the voice of the character. Jack sort Black. of a heavy metal adventure. Love it. It was fun, too. Love it. Double Fine's amazing because it, it's, uh, for a small independent, it is the most prolific game company in in the world. I, the, a number of things you guys do blows yeah, me Yeah, I think away. it stands out. I mean, this uh, we have Psychonauts 2 coming up, and we did a Costume Quest 2, but for the most part... We do original titles and different genres. Right. Some companies will do, you know, a, a good shooting game, and they'll just keep repeating that formula over and over and over. Right. Or, you know, a good sports game. Right. We seem to go in a different direction with every title that we do. We try to keep the humor, and the fun, the lightheartedness in most of our games is kind of a running theme. But, um, you know, obviously the art style and the uh, the type of game is different. Uh, many of the people at Double Fine, including your founder, came from Lucas Arts and. Uh, that would explain why uh, last year you brought back Grim Fandango, which was oh so right. much fun for me to see that again and play that. One of my favorite games. It is. That's uh, that's I think my favorite uh, adventure of all time back in the days. Really. Uh, we're also yeah. coming up with a remaster on uh, Full Throttle, which is sort of a biker themed uh, adventure game that came out af after Grim. I think after maybe just before yeah. uh, back in the day. Uh, that remaster is coming along too and looking really nice. Nice. And uh, very famous, of course, uh, for your Kickstarter, uh, which before Pebble was the most successful Kickstarter of all time. And must have been the first time anybody crowdsourced a game. Now it's a commonplace. Right. There had been a few others, but I think ours was the first one to really kick off and, you know, get over the million dollar, million dollar range. Um, it was surprising. I remember when it first went off, we thought we were going to get a few hundred thousand our goal, I think, was three or four hundred thousand. You know, we thought maybe in a few weeks we might get up to that level, and within the first day, it already broke a million yeah. in about twenty-four hours, and just kept rolling after that. So it was really exciting. I think as developers, you feel so distanced from your fans sometimes, where you put a game out and you just hear about it later. To see people responding to your idea immediately was was it was a big boost for the team. And we certainly we talked a lot about it at the time and Double Fine Adventure. I think a lot of our uh, listeners bought in and of course it became broken age right uh, which was a huge hit on ios yeah it was neat to get it on different platforms i think for all our titles it was one of the most as you say prolific you know available on just about everything but i think the touch version really works well yeah